Let's head now to Philadelphia, where House Republicans are turning up the pressure on Democrats over crime in that city. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner is facing backlash following the deaths of two Philadelphia police officers. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan is calling Krasner out for being soft on crime. When you don't prosecute bad guys, you shouldn't be surprised that you get more crime. When you defund the police, you shouldn't be surprised when you get more crime. And when you have a designated area for illegal drug use, you shouldn't be surprised when you get more crime. This is, uh, Roma, a force multiplier for Republicans, right? You can, you, when you have the control of the House, even if it's by one seat, you can use it as a messaging vehicle to go out and say, to Pennsylvania voters, look at what's going on here and to brand Democrats as a party that's soft on crime, right? Absolutely. I mean, we've been doing that for quite a while. I would say we've been doing it for six years. Um, you know, the Democrats have been soft on crime and defund the police movement didn't help with that. Now we've seen that the Democrats have, you know, backtracked on that messaging there. So uh, you're going to see a lot more of this in the next few months leading up to the election. The soft on crime narrative is going to sit very well with suburban women, which is a key voting district that we're looking at this cycle. You know, sub suburban women are up in terms of their voting for President Trump higher than it's ever been before. It's not quite at where it is with Biden, of course, but it is leaning up. And you have to think that a lot of that has to do with the crime in their areas and with the economy. Those are going to be two things that are very key to winning this election cycle. And I will say, just on that last topic that we had, it's also going to bleed into the mix because you have these, these students that are protesting and it is becoming quite violent. And it is not just at Columbia. It's not just in New York. We're seeing it all across the country now. Brad, uh, we have a sort of an analog here to the question on the economy. The the real numbers on crime are getting better, yeah, right? And I, and I, we, we've seen we've seen consistent improvement uh, on violent crime, even a, a dip in some property crime. But the, if you ask voters what's going on, they say it's getting worse. And here's another proof point: the murder rate nationally down 100 percent. Murder murder rate alone, and or excuse me, the number of murders in Philly alone in 2022 165 at this point. 2023, 154, now 87. That's about half. So crime is down. And polling shows, though, that people think their local crime is down, but they think national crime is up. And to your point, that's because of messaging. That's a comms issue. When the actual data does not reflect attitudes, you've got to message to voters and make them feel safe. And right now they don't. And that's a big problem. For and them. there's also the long tail, right? The, the, it, it takes a long time for the folks who are shopping at the King of Prussia Mall yep. to <laughs> process through what was going on, you know, so. Chef. And it's, it's similar to the economy, right? Numbers are getting yeah. better, but voters are. They're starting to feel a little bit. Consumer confidence is ticking up, but not in a dramatic way that's going to reshape the election. It's going to be a, a, an interesting six months between now and then. I think. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.